welcome to Stories for Wonderful Children. I'm Dan Wendelin. Today's story is titled The Leaf List, and it was originally told in May of 2008. It's the first of a series of Winella stories called Growing Elder. This series is a sequel to the Guardian of the Seeds series from Season 1, so you may want to listen to those first if you haven't already. I hope you enjoy this story. From time to time, Winella would make the trip to Neverland to visit her friends there. She would go and she would visit Lynn, the magical cat. And when she went to visit Lynn, the magical cat, she would always stop and look at the tree planted in Lynn's yard. The tree had been there for quite some time now, and Winella would always take a few minutes and pull up any weeds around the tree and check it to make sure there was no fungus growing on it and check its What's leaves. Fungus? Fungus is something that grows on trees that are injured. And check and make sure not too many of its leaves were being eaten by insects. The tree was truly a very beautiful thing. Its trunk was at the base a very dark shade of brown. And as you went up the tree toward the leaves, the brown faded to tan, to sort of a a light and shiny, uh, sort of brownish silver, to a deep silver color that then faded into a light silvery green on the leaves. Sometimes after she had weeded it and watered it, Winella, having talked with Lynn, would lay down underneath the tree if she did not have to get home too quickly. On one particular visit, after the tree had been there for about two years, it was a warm summer day in Neverland. Winella pulled up the usual weeds and she checked the leaves, and then, it being such a warm, quiet day, with the hum of the insects in the distance, and the chirping of the birds, and the soft, white, fluffy clouds drifting by overhead, Winella realized that she was really very tired, and she thought that she might like to lay down for just a few minutes, and on her back, and stare up at the sky. And so she did. She laid down and she lay there looking up at the sky. But as she lay there looking at those clouds, she felt her eyelids growing heavy. And she thought, wouldn't it be nice to take just a little nap? And so she let her eyes drift closed. And as they drifted closed, she heard whisper, and the whisper said, it is time. When Ella opened her eyes and looked around, she did not see anyone around. She called, Lynn, did you say something? No, Winella, said Lynn. Winella shrugged. She thought it must have been her imagination. But then she heard the whisper again, it is time. Now looked around. She said, "Who said that?" I, I must tell you, the time has come. You must retrieve the things I need if I am going to make the wand that will redeem Fairyland. Manella said, "Tree, is that you?" Uh, Everest? She heard nothing for a moment. And then she heard a voice that said, Yes. Watch, and your instructions will come. The things I need, you must bring them to me, Guardian, if I am to make the wand. And when I said instructions, but I'm not... Can't you just tell me what you need? Your instructions will come. And then Winella felt herself feeling funny for a moment 
and then she woke up and she thought, oh, oh, it was just a dream. She thought, I thought the tree was talking to me. Oh my goodness. She got that up. That wasn't just a dream. She got up and she stretched her arms. And she stretched, and as she stretched, she stood up. And as she stood up, a large leaf that had fallen onto her chest fell off onto the ground. Manoa thought, that's peculiar. The tree doesn't usually lose leaves this early in the year. And it was so peculiar that she looked down at the leaf at her feet, and she could see that it looked strange. She bent to pick it up, to study it more closely. The side that she picked up and looked at was the normal silver of the trees, sort of silvery green of the tree's leaves, but it was much larger. It was three times the size of a usual leaf on the tree. Like the leaf was usually about this size and it was about this size. Right. Wanella turned the leaf over and her breath caught in her throat. <gasps> there, on the side of the leaf facing her, the leaf was a light green. And there, looking as though they had been grown there as part of the leaf, were darker green ridges. The ridges formed letters. The letters formed words. The words formed a list. The list Winella read to herself. One, fairy dust. Two, griffin feather. Three, dragon spit. Ew. Four, magic chocolate. You can never find that in Neverland. Never say never. Five, rainbow in a jar. Six, music. Seven, laughter. Manella frowned down at the list. The first few things she could think she could probably find. But how is she supposed to put a rainbow in a jar? How is she supposed to bring music and laughter to the tree? She was going to have to think very carefully about this. She took the leaf and carefully put it in the biggest pocket the front of her adventuring outfit. Then she reached out and touched the warm, smooth bark of the tree. She looked up into its canopy of leaves and said, I hear you. I will bring you what you need. And then she turned and walked into the house to talk to Lynn. They had much to talk about, and clearly, she had much to do. Thanks for listening to Stories for Wonderful Children. I created today's story, but questions and witty commentary were supplied by my children. The music was created by Brandon Thompson. Your reviews and personal recommendations are the main way that new listeners find the show, so thank you for spreading the word. I'd love to hear your feedback, so feel free to get in touch via email or social media, which are listed in the show notes. Until next time, I'm Dan Wendelin, reminding you to tell someone you love a story. Music